in lecture 6 we will discuss the time shifting property of uh, Laplace transfer and uh, related questions also so first we will uh, explain uh, what do you mean by time shifting property okay so this is the general equation for Laplace transform x of s is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x of t e raised to minus st dt so this is a bilateral Laplace transform equation and assume that there is a signal x of t and the transform of the signal is represented by x of s and the ROC of that particular signal is r represented by r now we can uh, think about a signal uh, which is a time shifted version of x of t that is represented by x of t minus t0 and uh, whose transform can be written as uh, simply e raised to minus s t0 into x of s and the ROC will be same as the previous one so here x of s is the transform of x of t and the shifted signal transform is simply the product of the term e raised to minus s into t0 this t0 is the shifting time shifting value okay this is very simple property but very useful uh, you need to remember this property when you do the problems okay now we'll see how to solve uh, questions related to time shifting so we can discuss the first question uh, find the laplace transform and the roc of the signal del of t minus 2 okay so this is a time shifting property uh, x of t minus t0 is e raised to minus s t0 into x of s and uh, we'll take uh, one example uh, previously we find out the Laplace transform of del of t an impulse signal is equal to 1 okay so and the ROC is entire s plane so now in this particular question it is given del of t minus 2 so del of t minus 2 means it's a time shifted version of impulse signal so based on this particular uh, property okay we can write this signal like this del of uh, t minus 2 and the transform of the signal is uh, e raised to this by applying the property e raised to minus s in place of t0 it's 2 so we can write uh, 2 here so minus 2s and the Laplace transform of del of t is 1 so ROC is or s or and they are plane okay uh, del of t minus 2 uh, means a signal uh, which exists when uh, t is equal to 2 okay so this is the impulse signal del of uh, t minus 2 and the transform of the signal is uh, e raised to minus 2s okay now we'll see the next question uh, here uh, we need to find the Laplace transform of the signal u of t plus 3 and uh, u of t plus 3 means it's a step shifted step signal so for that uh, we need to apply the Laplace transform uh, of uh, step signal u of t the step Laplace transform u of t is given by 1 by s which is already we discussed in the previous lecture and the ROC is uh, sigma greater than 0 okay now we can see that the signal is u of t minus 3 so we can see how the properties we can use to find out the result so now it is u of t plus 3 so the Laplace transform of the signal is we need to apply if it is uh, t0 t0 here this is minus t0 is minus t0 here now it is uh, plus 3 so we need to write in this way e raised to 3s and the Laplace transform of uh, u of t is 1 by s so we can write 1 by s and the ROC will be same so we can write ROC is sigma greater than 0 okay this is the Laplace transform and we can plot the ROC if uh, sigma is equal to 0 means at the center and it is greater than 0 means towards right so this is the ROC so this is the ROC of the signal now we'll uh, move to the next question here the signal is given uh, as a combination of two signals so we need to apply the linearity property also so first I will re rewrite this particular uh, question so it becomes e raised to minus 2 t into u of t minus e raised to minus 2 t into u of t minus 5 okay so we'll get two signal 
so by using the basic uh, formula uh, of causal signal so this is a causal signal I can write the result of uh, e raised to minus 2 t into u of t so which is equal to 1 by s plus 2 and the ROC will be sigma greater than minus 2 so we got the Laplace transform of this particular signal okay now we need to find the Laplace transform of this signal so when you take this signal uh, you can see that there is a uh, time shifted portion that is uh, u of t minus 5 but in order to apply the Laplace transform uh, its signal should be like this okay e raised to minus 2 t minus 5 into u of t minus 5 okay if uh, both t here also t minus 5 and here also t minus 5 then we can apply uh, the Laplace transform but in the question is not given in this particular form it's simply uh, u of sorry e raised to minus 2 into t here it is t and here it is t minus 5 so we cannot apply uh, directly this uh, uh, property because entire t should be changed to t minus t0 okay uh, for example this signal is uh, x1 of t and the transform of this particular signal is x1 of s now uh, if it is x1 of uh, t minus 5 means like this but the given question is different so if the signal is like this you can write uh, e raised to uh, as t minus 5 so signal is shifted by 5 only so you can write e raised to minus 5s into x of s x of s 1 by s plus 2 and sigma greater than minus 2 okay. this will be the answer but here it is given e raised to minus 2 t into u of t minus 5 so in order to make it uh, t minus 5 I will write put t minus 5 here so then it becomes e raised to minus 2 t uh, plus 10 and into u of t minus 5 so now I can rewrite this e raised to minus 2 t into e raised to minus 10 into u of t minus 5. We know that in this signal uh, this part is in the question u of t minus 5 is there. So we need an extra term uh, e raised to uh, minus 10. So in order to cancel this uh, we can add e raised to plus 10. Okay. What do you call? Okay and we can group these two terms so there will be an extra term which is e raised to plus 10 okay now uh, I can uh, rearrange this uh, so our equation uh, the question becomes uh, e raised to plus 10 into e raised to minus uh, 2 into t minus 5 sorry I made a mistake here uh, it becomes plus and uh, this quantity becomes negative okay we need to multiply it with uh, minus 10 so here also that changes to me so here it is e raised to minus 10 and will be like this okay into u of uh, t minus 5 so the Laplace transform of the signal becomes e raised to minus 10 into e raised to minus 5s into 1 by s plus 2 and sigma greater than minus 2 now we, by applying the linearity property uh, linearity property of the signal we can combine uh, these two part okay this is 1 and this is 2 we can combine these two okay this is 1 and this is 2 so the final x of s can be written as 1 by s plus 2 minus e raised to minus 10 e raised to minus 5s into 1 by s plus 2 so we can take 1 by s plus 2 as a common so remaining 1 minus 
and if you group these two terms uh, e raised to minus 10 and e raised to minus 5 s if you group uh, and if you take uh, 5 as a common it becomes s plus 2 so this is the final answer and sigma greater than minus 2 and the ROC will be like this and there is a point uh, minus 2 and uh, sigma is greater than minus 2 and this is sigma axis and this is j omega axis and this is s plus and this is the ROC okay. and uh, always make sure that uh, whether the given question is uh, time shifted or not so you need to cross verify always okay here it is t minus 5 but there is no t minus 5 so we'll try to make it a t minus 5 form but then there will be an extra time okay we'll move to the next part so here it is given as uh, an signal a shifted version of impulse signal as a sum so this is a question so I, I can expand this signal so signal will be like this the k value we need to substitute so first uh, k will be del of t minus 0 k is 0 so it be simply del of t then del of t minus t plus uh, del of uh, t minus 2t plus etc okay and the uh, transform of uh, impulse signal you can write del of t is equal to 1 so based on that uh, you can write the result for this del of t so del of t or you can write x of s like this first signal is 1 second signal is a shifted version I say del of t minus t so you can write it becomes e raised to minus s t okay and another term uh, e raised to minus 2 s t plus e raised to minus 3 s t plus etc so i can group this so i can write like this uh, for example you can assign a variable k is equal to 0 to infinity uh, e raised to minus k s t okay if you substitute the values of k uh, k is equal to 0 1 2 3 you can you will get this series and up to infinity uh, if you slightly modify this equation uh, 0 to infinity e raised to minus s t the whole raise to k okay so this is a summation uh, from 0 to infinity uh, some quantity raised to k and uh, this summation you can write like this so x of s becomes 1 by 1 minus e raised to minus s t okay this is the result but in this case uh, you can see that if s is equal to 0 okay if s is equal to 0 it's e raised to uh, 0 and 1 minus 1 so uh, again undefined so we can write the sigma should be greater than 0 this is the only condition and there is a ROC otherwise uh, it's all s but there is an exception sigma plus j omega and sigma should be greater than 0 okay that is the ROC Now we'll discuss one more question. Uh, here the signal is given uh, e raised to minus t plus 2 into u of t. When you look at the signal, uh, sometimes you will make some mistake that uh, t plus 2 is a time shifted signal. Okay. Uh, but in this case, uh, if you slightly modify this equation, you can write e raised to minus t into e raised to minus 2 mm, into u of t so after rearranging e raised to minus 2 into e raised to minus t into u of t if you look at this particular signal uh, this term e raised to minus 2 means it's simply a constant there is no t term and this is the standard signal uh, of the form uh, in a causal form so by applying the result you can uh, directly write the result so it becomes uh, 1 by s plus 1 and uh, ROC will be sigma greater than minus 1 and e raised to minus 2t is a constant so you can multiply with it so this is your x of s 
and ROC will be like this sigma and j omega and this is s plane and here the pole s is equal to minus 1 and will be greater than that so this is the ROC because the signal is a causal one uh, so always cross check uh, whether the given signal is a, a time shifted signal or not in this case it is not a time shifted signal and simply uh, a constant multiplied by a constant so don't directly apply a time shifting property in this particular property okay thank you